Alright guys, I'm going to get straight to it. I don't have a whole lot of time. i got something else that just came up I want to take care of. Uh, some of you know, I'm very allergic to bees. Uh, I got stung the other day. And it was right after I had made a comment on Facebook. Uh, which, you guys are more than welcome to hit me up there. Um, CAC prep dash prep dash tips. Okay. And CAC prep is one word like it is on here. Anyway, uh, got stung by a few bees. They were hiding in that mirror over there. Rolled the window down, didn't know it. And when I shut the door, I had my hand up on the A pillar because that's how I usually shut it. I reach up in and grab it and pull it shut. They flew down my sleeve, put me in a hell of a spot. Glad I had this. This is made by Sawyer. It says first aid kit. It's called their extractor. Okay. It comes with some information here. Uh, it's got some basic first aid stuff. Pressure wrap for stopping bleeding and bleeding. I mean, it's got their their emergency kit information. Uh, it has poison control information with phone numbers for your areas. Uh, it's nice. I put some alcohol prep pads in there. Has the uh, sorry guys, the helpful hints to how to use it. Another pad, alcohol pad, and we have a nice little bite book. It tells you what to look for, uh, various things. Um, this was made. Prior to th this, this pamphlet was made prior to this kit being assembled because it did not come with the antiseptic uh, stick or the tourniquet. Everything else was in there. Uh, it does come with a safety razor. So, and that's not been used because I always keep a couple bics around. Anyway, this extractor, it's pretty nice. A little piece of equipment. Um, it works on the principles of a syringe, however, it is not a syringe. This, you pick the, the uh, size and shape of the injury, like for a snake bite, you would do this, okay? For bee sting, single one, you could use this, and this will fit on either way, so you can have a, a pinpointed area or a, a larger, probably quarter inch diameter area. All the way up to this one inch diameter. So, I've got the little half inch deal on there. I'm going to try this, okay? Bear with me. Um, what you do, I'm going to try to shoot a picture of my arm. Say I get stung right here. I take the extractor, put it over top of the injury, push hard, okay? It forms a vacuum. You can see the it's drawing my flesh up into it. I'm pulling on it. It's created a vacuum. What that's going to do is, and what it does quite well, let me try it again here. Get, there we go. There we got a heavy, heavy pull. What that's doing is that's drawing out the toxins, the poison, whatnot. Okay. See, that's, that's under tight. I can pull it off. There, you hear that? See that mark? That draws out the the uh, poison, the venom, if you will, uh, the toxins, it'll work with uh, nearly any type of injected uh, poison because you all know that poisons are introduced to the body by ingestion, inhalation, absorption, and in injection, right? Okay. Well, this helps you take care of one of them. The injection part so what I would do first of all if you have to shave the area shave the area uh, secondly remove the stinger if that is still an issue uh, thirdly choose your size of suction uh, area you need to cover if you will attach it to the extractor use the extractor over the area you can see that's going to leave a mark all day long. Um, but I wouldn't have any venom in there. Now, 
after after that's done I would treat the area with the alcohol prep pad uh, followed by I know what people are gonna say but we always follow it with Benadryl okay a couple Benadryl tablets keep the person calm I'm gonna come around here like this no, I'm not there we go uh, keep the person calm afterwards you are going to have to take them for medical treatment if they have a snake bite or if they're allergic to the venom introduced into their body. The proteins is what causes the allergic reaction. Um, scorpion bites, same way. Spider bites, bee stings, all that. So, there it is, guys. Quick rundown of the Sawyer Extractor. You can pick them up at Walmart for under $15. Much better than the old snake bite kits that came in the rubber uh, capsules and I really I've used mine extensively um, for the past 10 years not just on myself but on others highly recommend it and you won't see me out and about without it it stays in my pack my wife has one in her pack we've got one in each vehicle they're good to go okay uh, but you will have to seek medical attention for the patient immediately because not only being injected but as soon as the proteins and toxins are injected they start to absorb into your flesh into the muscle tissue into whatever they come in contact with you're going to be hard pressed to get that out so they need medical attention to get the proper treatment okay thanks everybody uh, that's a quick overview of that and we'll talk to you on the next one